here is your boy Shell Baker. We're back with another reaction video. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to is Kevin Durant. Is he in the GOAT discussion, right? And this video is coming from Shaq's podcast where they talk about Kevin Durant and the GOAT debate, right? So if you're new to the channel, please drop a subscribe for your boy. Please like the video. And we're going to see what Shaq's opinion and his podcast, I think it's Lou Williams here, what their opinion on is Kevin Durant and the GOAT discussion. I right? mean, myself personally, Kevin Durant, the GOAT debate? No, <laughs> plain and simple, right? Kevin Durant is one of the greatest players we have ever seen grace the floor of the basketball court. But is he in the GOAT debate? No. Well, let's see what they got to say. Without hurting people's feelings, you know, people get sensitive. KD says the other day, his name should be discussed in the greatest of all time conversation. What has he not done? Agree or disagree? He... So you got to be specific. You can't just say greatest of all. Time. No, the goat. Like they always talk about it's LeBron, the goat. I was talking about Michael Jordan. I throw on Kobe. Some people don't. I threw in Steph Curry the other day. No, he's saying his name should be in that conversation. Kareem. 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 I think KD is the goat on this for seven foot. Two guard. No, no, uh, no. no. What is, the he, is he one of the great? Doing seven foot two. <laughs> you look at the history of the NBA. <laughs> How many seven foot two guards do you see walking around the NBA? So of course he's gonna be the goat of seven foot two guards because ain't that many, if any, seven foot two guards. I see what you're trying to say. For his height at seven feet tall, he's very skilled. He is skilled like a guard at seven feet tall. So he's the most skilled seven footer for his height. Because he had guard like skills. I, I get what you're trying to say. But no, what you're trying to do is trying to do the, the same BS that Shaq be doing, which is not BS, because technically it's true. When Shaq put himself in a, his own category as most dominant, which Shaq, between him and Wilt Chamber, were the, the most dominant players we've ever seen. So I get what you, I get that portion, right? So I get that. But no, he's not in the GOAT debate. Stop trying to make categories for Kevin Durant. Man, let's go. Forty-two seconds in, goddamn. There's no, no, no. never should, seen another KD. Should, should he be in that conversation? No, no. What you think? I think so, and I, I think so. Kevin Kevin Durant is a transcendent talent, bro. Like we've nobody never, arguing we've that. Never we've never seen, seen it before. We ain't never arguing seen that. Any, anybody like KD? And I, I said this the other day on on, uh, on on something else I was doing. The timing was bad when he went to Golden State. Right after that, right after losing to them, mm. then going to them. I think any other year in his career, he go there. It's not looked at as that particular thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's such a sensitive subject with people in in basketball and basketball de debates. But Kevin Durant is absolutely one of the best players that we've seen of all time. But, but I want to get him. I want to give him. Nobody's arguing that. Kevin Durant is one of the greatest players we have ever seen of all time. Nobody's arguing that. We trying to we asking the question: Is he in the goat conversation? Would, would would it have lessened the blow if he went to go to state instead of like right after he, he lost to him? Maybe, but still, if he would have went to go to state while there was a well oiled machine, and they were still kick it kick it tail in the lead. So just because they, so what I'm trying to say is just because they won seventy three wins. The season and beat KD. So let's say the next following season they win 65 games, and KD they don't KD doesn't lose it. He don't, he don't play. He loses to somebody else. He don't play Golden State. Just because he didn't lose to them, it's still a bad fit because a top five, top three player in the league, an MVP candidate, joins a well or machine, a 65 win team or whatever whatever it is, a previously 73 win team, <laughs> and joins that team. As one of the best players in the NBA, that still is a bad look, regardless of when he did it. It might not be as bad because he didn't just lose to him, but it's still going to be a bad look. Can you imagine Hakeem Olajuwon joining the 72-10 the and 10 bull, or Karl Malone joining the 72-10 bull? Like, what the hell? A GOAT kind hell? of status because in, in, it, I don't want to disrespect his talent because KD, is, we've never seen that before, right? From As a fan of basketball, to me, I've never seen – a more skilled guy at that height. He could do everything that a guard can do. He shot, he shoots better than anybody ever, damn near except for Steph. 
and that part I think is goat goat status. But you I'm saying that, like yeah. when y'all start doing championships and this, it gets weird. I think he has his own special category, yeah. like, like me. Yeah, I, like, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not in the goat kind of thing, but I am one of two of the most dominant players ever. ever. So he's one of two of the most most prolific dominant scorers ever. Yes, and, and I think I, and I think like you said to people, most, most prolific, one of two of the. Like, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not in the GOAT kind of thing, but I am one of two of the most dominant players ever. ever. So he's one of two of the most, most prolific dominant scorers ever. Yeah. He's one of two of the most prolific and dominant scorers ever. One of two. I don't know if I agree with that either. No. Because one of two? Oh yeah, if you look at it says of a sports player high scoring. If you look at prolific, Kevin Durant have even Kevin Durant have, hasn't even his his career high is not even sixty points. I think it's fifty. He haven't even scored sixty in the league. So like, is he one of the most efficient scorers we've ever seen? Yes. Like he's one of the most efficient, one of the best scores we've ever seen. And the reason why he's one of the best scores we've ever seen is because his 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 efficiency. The prolific, dominant. I'll, I'll take LeBron, I'll take Kobe, I'll take MJ as more prolific and dominant. But proceed. And I think, and I think, like you said, to piggyback on what you said, because you lose the Golden State and then you go join them and win championship, I think that tarnishes it. Now, if he can bit. win one where he's the bus driver, like Charles would say, I think we would definitely have to put him in that conversation. But right now, I don't really have him that, but he does have his own. You get category. one next year, that whole yeah. narrative gets wiped away yes, because does. that's one that he can that he can call his own, his own and not have any cut on it. Like this is this was me. Like y'all can kiss my. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> but and I I want to I want guardable, bro. Yeah, I want to see it happen for him because the narrative is just so crazy with him. It's like people love to hate Kevin Durant. People love to hate Kevin Durant. He's so and, the, and all he did was win. Yeah, but I think I think what it is with, with KD though, man, because KD doesn't actually let us in. It's very similar to like when Kobe, early years of Kobe, we didn't get to know Kobe really well till the end. Right. Like, man, like KD be on Twitter talking trash. We knew Kobe more. <laughs> and um, KD, um, he's starting to kind of come out of his shell. Starting. A bit. He's doing his interviews more. But think about K KD is kind of quiet, bro. Mm -hmm. Except on Twitter, he going at you. But you know. Okay. Yeah, but I think. All right. <laughs> I think people were upset because, especially guys that that you know we play this game. If we knew that was acceptable, probably a lot of us would have switched up. Done it. If I if I knew that was acceptable, I would have just went to Chicago. If I knew that was, that was acceptable, I would have went and played with the Spurs. Shaq if I knew that was okay, you know what I'm saying? I would have went and played with a team that was almost there, like Utah. I would have went and played in Utah. Like, if I knew that that was acceptable, we always thought, like, nope. You got to stay. You the man. You the guy. You got to get it done. Shaq you got to stay. You got to make trades. You got to do this. You can't. And it, I, I think he did it before it was acceptable. It's acceptable now. People just, I want to go here. I want to do this. I want to, oh, hey, you, you play on the team, play on the team. Let's get on this team and create a big three. But again, if I knew that was acceptable, I just would win and play with Mike. If I'd play oh with Mike. Oh, my God. But I Shaq, what? I think that. No, no. No, no. Yeah, but that was, but that was by, no, no. But that was from, from, from working and thinking. Like, I didn't know them. I saw him and I went upstairs and be like, hey, bring me Penny and bring me Hart. It ain't what like you I know him. Hey, man, I, I know you play with Bill. Is, the game he, he is the super teams? one superstar is done. That yeah. I agree with. Everybody too good now. Everybody too good. Everybody too good. You got to have somebody with you. <laughs> players are too good and too much spacing on the court. You got, you got players, they're so skilled and they can score the ball. The rules facilitate them scoring. And then if you collapse, if I collapse the defense, you double team me, I'm gonna kick it out to the three-point shooter. We're gonna rain a bunch of threes. So because of the three, the three-point game, it's hard for one dominant score to keep his team afloat. Right? I can score at 60. I can you see Car Anthony Town score at 60 and they still lost because it's just too much scoring as a team. Because it's more skill and more space. So one one person can't be a dominant scoring theory team. <laughs> you can't do it by yourself. You no can't more. do it. It's, everybody's too good now. Honestly, the game is too evolved good, so too much. Spacing, you got guys too much like 
Win beyond rules. you seven four doing things you've never never imagined. Kevin Durant, things that you've never imagined. These the things that Luca does, Jokic, how much the game has evolved from position to position. Ain't no ain't no one superstar winners no more. That's out. Yeah, that's out. Don't you don't you ever say I did the same thing as KD did with my championships. I didn't say you did the same thing. I said you created super teams. Under the rules. Like they uh, no, 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 exist today. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll go ahead, Shaq. Beef that people have with KD is that you were up 3-1 versus the team. You lose the series to the team, then you join the team. Yeah, you can't do that. I agree with that. Okay, so. I agree with that uh, statement. Uh, but you can't say that you didn't have super teams. You were surrounded by superstars okay, but everywhere I, you went. But I did it under the rules of the system. When I first got to Orlando, I didn't have much. I saw that we can get him. The next year, I saw that Horace Grant was saying he wasn't coming back to Chicago. Get I him. smashed him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then when I leave, I, I go to I go to LA. I see that, you know, Kobe, he's coming, but he's not quite there yet. So give me a B show. Give me a Robin R. Give me a fight. Like this was a I disagree with his cousin. <laughs> okay, there's there's a big difference between a super team and him playing with super All right. So in Orlando, Shaq he had Penny, Horace Grant, they're not considered as top players in the league or Hall of Famers, whatever, what have you, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like the you know pinnacle uh, superstars, so it's not a super team. And then he takes that team, go to Orlando, I and mean, go to the NBA Finals. They still lose. He goes to the LA. Kobe wasn't Kobe. And year one, he develops, and then the team get better. And then you know, I still would consider that's a super, that's a, a duo, right? And then him with Dwayne Wade, one superstar, that's a duo, right? It's not a super team. Not not Card Garnett, Dre Allen, and Paul Pierce. Not the, the Heatles and Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, Kevin Durant. <laughs> Steph Curry, uh, Clay Thompson, Dr Draymond Green, like those are super teams. Did nobody consider, even though they had a lot of talent, that the Lob City Clippers was a super team. They just had talent. They just had stars slash superstars. Shaq wasn't on no super team. Like, you know what I mean? But anyway, I think the biggest difference between, or the biggest difference is uh, when it comes to Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, one of the greatest players we've ever seen, he's not in the GOAT discussion, right? Kevin Durant, if, as, if you look at Kevin Durant's body of work, we talking about the GOAT discussion. Kevin Durant is not an all-defensive team player. Kevin Durant is not a historical playmaker. Kevin Durant is a historical great scorer. And as a historical great scorer, he's not the best scorer we have ever seen. You could argue, I think Michael Jordan is a better scorer than, than Kevin Durant, especially a better, more dominant and prolific scorer than Kevin Durant. You could argue efficiency, but he's a more dominant prolific scorer. You could argue LeBron, then you could argue Kobe, especially when it comes to prolific scoring. Now, when you talk about efficiency, if you want to take KD, I get that. But over Kobe, as prolific, like scoring a bunch of points, and then he, and then Kobe is is above league average in efficiency, like scoring a bunch of points, get 50, 60, 70, you know, all that. I'll take Kobe in that regard. So he's not even, <clears throat> like, the one of the, he's not even the best scorer, and the best thing that he's do is scoring, right? Kareem is the most accomplished from high school, college, and the NBA with all the awards, with all, all his, his, with his resume. LeBron James, probably the greatest. All around player we ever seen. Michael Jordan's probably the greatest two way. He's the greatest scorer, but he's probably the greatest two way we ever seen. You could you could argue Hakeem. You could argue uh, I don't know, maybe Tim Duncan or and you know, somebody else. But maybe the greatest two way, the greatest scorer. LeBron James, the, the greatest all around player we ever seen. Kareem, the greatest accomplished player we ever seen. Steph Curry's the greatest shooter we ever seen. So like, even in the, the greatest things that Kevin Durant does. He's not the best player at what he does. So, in that regard, I don't think he's the GOAT. <clears throat> or I don't think he's in the GOAT discussion. And then when you add on to the fact his accomplishments and how he went about things, it's kind of hard to put him in that category. But anyway, if you like the video, please drop a like on the video. That's all I got to say about this. And uh, yeah, peace. Take it easy.